in the name of Allah, we start hello and welcome everyone. We are in the third intermediate grade, Super Go 5, the first semester. Our subject is English. Our lesson today is Unit 3. When are you traveling for writing, form, meaning, and function? Presented and prepared by Muhammad Falata. Let's start everybody. What we are going to learn today? We are going to write an email to a friend about studying in another country or family. Writing email in general is very, very important for us. And we are going to write a study program for a foreign student in your country. Okay, let's start everybody. Read the email. Do you think Adnan is having a good time in Toronto? Adnan is in Toronto, so we want to know if Adnan is having a good time there. Okay, let's read together. Dear mom and dad, it was so nice to hear from you. I think of you all the time too. You needn't worry about me because I'm doing fine. It was a little difficult for me to adjust at first because everything here is so different. The weather in Toronto is quite cold. It's about 14 degrees right now. But they say it can get really cold in the winter. The food is strange too. The meals at the cafeteria are pretty good, but nothing like mom's cooking. Okay? This afternoon, we had vegetarian pizza and salad. The university has quite a large campus. I got lost. I got lost off on the first day, but I managed to ask for directions and made it to class on time. As for my classes, they are really interesting and the teachers are extremely helpful. I have four hours of English every day so I'm learning quite fast. I still can't speak very well, but my teachers and classmates usually understand me. By the way, my classmates are very friendly and I've made some new friends. We study together and hang out in the evening. Next week, our class is going to visit Niagara Falls. They've arrange for a tour guide to show us around. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. I'll send you some photos. I'm going to the library to study now. So let's talk on Skype this Saturday. I miss you. Love, Adnan. Okay. Look at the writing task. This is Adnan email. In C below, before you write, Make a chart of write notes for each paragraph. Okay, let's see the chart, everybody. We have it here. The chart below is an example for Adnan emails. Okay, before we write, everybody, listen carefully. Before we write, okay, let's read. Okay, the content or the chart that Adnan wrote in his email and start writing. Adnan, he starts with greeting, hi, hello, okay, I think about you all the time, don't worry about me, okay? Difference is difficult to adjust, whether food, okay? Differences between your country or the place that you are in, difficult things that happen to you to adjust, to adjust it means to Feel comfortable, okay, in this place, okay, to adapt yourself. If it's cold, to the weather, you get used to it, okay? Weather, food, weather, food. Talk about the weather, okay, differences and the food differences, okay? And uh, number three, he talked about the campus, classes, large classes, campus, he got lost there, interesting classes about English and all the interested classes, helpful teachers, okay, helpful teachers, learn fast, he learned fast because he had many classes, English for example, friendly classmates, new friends, he make a new friends. 
Okay, number four, then he talked about the plans to visit Niagara Falls, two guide and photos there. Okay, on the end of his email, I mean closing, it means end of it. Okay, he said that he is going to the library to study, and then he will talk on Skype with them on Saturday. Then he mentioned that messy. Okay, that he messed them. Okay, mom and dad. Okay, this is the structure of the charts that Adnan wrote his email. Okay, use it to write your own email, everybody. Okay, use it to write your own email. Follow, okay, the structure or function of Adnan's email. Okay. Okay, imagine you are a student studying in a foreign country. Write an email to a friend telling him or her about your experience. Describe your impression, I mean feelings, okay, what you feel, how you feel, and what you plan to do while you are there. Form, meaning, and function, very important, guys. Function, as I told you, function. Okay, time clauses. These time clauses are introduced by conjunction, such as after, as soon as, before, until, when, and while. Okay, we don't use future forms. Okay, talk about the email. We don't use future forms. In a time clause, we use the present. Okay. We use the present, everybody. Don't forget that two lines here. Very important. Use the present. They will probably go skiing when they are on vacation. Okay, to the future. They went skiing when they were on vacation. To the past. Okay, I want you to please look carefully. I will go shopping while you cook dinner. The future. He went shopping while his wife cooked dinner. To the past. Okay. We place a comma after the time close when it begins the sentence. As soon as we arrive to the comma, we are going to we are going straight to the hotel, okay? So in this task, I'm asking you to imagine you are a student studying in a foreign country. Foreign means not your country, other country, okay? Write an email to a friend telling him or her, if you are a girl, about your experience. Describe your impressions, how you feel like at night. He talked to his mother and father, okay? Mother, dad, and mom. I need you to write to a friend, okay? How you feel and what you plan to do while you are there, okay? This is your task. Please do it and use your time closet. Okay, it's the grammar time now. Preposition of movement. Let's take the preposition of movement. Like the name movement, okay? Move from a place to another place. So, let's take the first one, it's up. The ball is going up, okay? The stairs, up the stairs, okay? Up, down, going down, okay? Down, the movement, from here to here. Uh, from here to here, up, from here to here, down. Over, over, this is the box, and the ball is over. Okay, over. Over, like football is said, over, over, okay? It's over. Something here, over. The box is here, the ball is over. Two, the ball is going to the box, okay? To the box. Okay, to the, look at the movement, from here to here. Box. That's why we call it preposition of movement. From here to here. Okay? Away from. The ball is going away from the box. Away from the box. The box and the ball is moving 
away from. Okay? Past. Past. Okay, this is over and this is past. Here. The ball is here. Going here. It's the movement. Okay? Past the box. Into. Look. Are the box open and the ball is going into. Inside. Okay? Into. Into the box. Into. Out of. Look at the ball. Out of the box. The ball is going out of. It's into, it's out of, okay? So the ball get into the box, then get out of, okay? Get out of the box. Around, around, okay? It's the around, it's the movement, everybody. Around the box, okay? Around the box. Don't forget, around, okay? The movement. On to. Onto here and here. It says here, onto. Okay? Off. Off. Okay? Off the box. Off the box. Across. Across. There's a box here and the box. Another box here. And the ball's going across. Okay? Through. Through. Look inside between here. This is the movement, everybody. Through. Get out, okay? Through. Okay, this is into and stay inside. This is through, okay? From here to here. This is the movement. Get out. Here and get out, okay? But here, into, go and sit inside the box, okay? Along, along with, okay? Along. This is the movement, okay? Two boxes. This is along with, okay? Long. Okay, got it? So, I'll say it again. Up, down. Over, to, away from, past, into, out of, around, on, to, off, across, along, and through. Okay. Now, match each phrase with the correct time clause. We took the time clause in the email. Okay. Let's read it together. And please write the letter here. Okay? Number one, take your ticket and passport with you. Number two, he's going to play football with his friend. Number three, I won't spend a lot of money. Number four, they will probably visit a museum. Number five, we are going to miss you. Number six, you must go through the security check. Number seven, passengers should wait by the gate. Number eight, they are meeting their son at the airport. Number nine, you should arrive at the airport. Number 10, he won't go out with his friends. So we will match this column to this one. Let's read it together. A. Two hours before departure. Okay. Before takeoff. B. When they are in London. C. Until they call for boarding. D. Until he finishes his homework. E. As soon as he arrives. F. Before you leave for the airport. G. When I go to the shopping mall, H, before you board the airplane, I, while you are away at college, J, after he does his homework. So, let's do it. Please read it carefully and match each phrase with the correct time clock. So, let's see the answers. Hope you got it right. Okay, F. Before you leave for the airport, take your ticket and passport with you. Number two. After he does his homework, he's going to play football with his friends. Number three. When I go to the shopping mall, I won't spend a lot of money. Number four. When they are in London, 
they will probably visit a museum. Number five, while you are away at college, we are going to miss you. Okay, number six, before you board the airplane, you must go through the security check. Number seven, until they call for boarding, passengers should wait by the gate. Number eight, as soon as he arrives, they are meeting their son at the airport. Number nine, two hours before departure, you should arrive at the airport. Number 10, last but not least, until he finishes his homework, he won't go out with his friends. Okay? Now complete the suitable preposition. We took the preposition of movement. So, he is walking where? At the stairs. And he likes to travel where? The movement. And did the movement. Okay? Here and here. Okay, brown. Okay, he's walking blank at the, st at the stairs. He looks to travel and the answers, of course, he's walking down the stairs and he likes to travel around the world. Okay, at the end of our class, please write your emails and don't forget the preposition of movement. Thank you very much and see you next class. Goodbye.